Hi, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first webinar of Forex Recycling Group. Today we will speak about recycling plan for municipal solid waste production of RDF. So hello and welcome everybody to our webinar. This is Emanuele Zilio. I'm sales, uh, sales manager of Forex since uh, 10 years. If you want, you can add me to your LinkedIn connection. I would be glad to have you in my network and exchange your impression, questions, opinions, and all what concern your doubts and technical specification about our equipment. Today's uh, agenda mainly focusing in, in, uh, on the first presentation, who is Forec? The recycling plant for municipal solid waste we are normally building and the different sorting options available. Who is Forec? Forec is a large company located in the north, the north part of Italy. And this, uh, this picture is a DNA in the background. It's not the case, but uh, we used to customize our machines and installation mainly according to customer needs and is waste type. So our production start uh, from, uh, from the single machines. Uh, you can have a look in, in, in our web page uh, all the wide range we are producing. I guess we are one of the first and unique uh, European company able to produce a so wide range of equipment. And the single machine, each single solution we are providing are then included in a complete installation to process a wide range of scraps. So we are used to dealing with uh, waste to energy, which is uh, the webinar session of today. We are dealing with ferros and no ferros uh, uh, recycling uh, business. We are dealing with tires, waste. We are dealing with plastic, e-scrap, wires and electric motors. All the e scrap, uh, all the scrap present in the world, uh, except uh, demolition and construction waste. Today, uh, the topic, uh, what we are discussing, is a specific treatment of the MSW, municipal solid waste, bringing a processing system to obtain RDF from that waste. And the aim of treatment. Uh, mainly is to separate and recover the quality recyclable materials and the energy valorization of the dry, not recyclable fraction, which is called RDF, refuse derived fuel. The infeed material, what we, what we call MSW, municipal solid, solid waste, as a double option of recovery. It can be sorted, so you can recover uh, different uh, downstream, uh, especially in plastic bottles, uh, in film, in glass, in paper, and going into the reselling uh, market uh, with your materials. Or you can go directly to a RDF, which is an alternative combustible for cement kilns or for, uh, you know, uh, electric energy uh, production. That's why the RDF, uh, if, if it's well separated uh, from its foreign uh, um, content, like organic fraction, for instance, it can use uh, as alternative combustible. The main machines uh, at the beginning, uh, in principle of the line, you can say we have uh, several options. One of them is the bag openers, we call LS, is the first machine to present in the line that uh, the, main, uh, the main aim is to open all the bags uh, coming from, uh, from the sorting. Um, this machine have no sieve, uh, so it's able to process a high quantities of material. And uh, of course, is a machine ideal for opening all the bags and uh, all the waste in bags to prepare the waste for the following sorting manual or automatic doesn't matter. It has a, propping, a proper cutting system, uh, mainly uh, manufactured through uh, particularly blade design, 
it has a heavy duty uh, structure and a heavy duty shaft, gearbox and motor, uh, trying to minimize uh, all the risk of eventual foreign bodies uh, uh, going to impact on the cutting system. So each shaft has its own gearbox and motor. The shafts have different RPM, which means revolution per minute, so drive the, to a inverter. Blades holder and shafts are made of a special steel with a thermal hardening to reduce the wear. Plates have a, a special profile to allow the opening and the tearing of the bags without damaging the content of the bags. And we have the possibility to increase the distance uh, of the blades uh, and to change the revolution of the shaft to control the dimension of the output material. Another option for our customer uh, is uh, represented by the primary shredder uh, multi-crusher FR, which states at the beginning of the RDF installation. Honestly speaking with you, uh, this machine is having a huge, uh, a huge selling. We are very satisfied of the behavior of this machine because it's really a flexible machine in terms that can uh, uh, allow um, the loading of a huge quantity of uh, not only municipal solid waste, but even bulky waste and some other uh, commercial and uh, industrial waste, for instance. And uh, thanks to, to a large OPAR and to a patented uh, cutting system, uh, the loader and, and the crane is able uh, to, to load the OPAR of this machine in a very comfortable way. And so they can speed up all the procedure of the first uh, part of the installation in terms of uh, municipal solid waste preparation. So it's a, it's a machine that uh, is really heavy duty. Uh, the capacity of this machine is estimated in up to 100 ton per hour of municipal solid waste. And uh, the output size uh, is uh, controlled by a cutting table underneath, which can be uh, set according customer wishes and according customer demands. Uh, let's make a step, a step ahead in the installation where uh, Forex can provide different uh, sorting options. So after the first machine we, we were discussing before, which is the LS or the FR, we used to have different kinds of sorting. Uh, it can be manual, automatic or semi-automatic, depends on the budget and depends on the project details, of course. So here are the options uh, of different uh, sorting uh, methods. The first one is represented in the case we have a, an unsorted MSW, is represented by a disc sieve for erasing uh, the organic fraction. This is a um, completely heavy duty disc sieve avoiding uh, twisting uh, of material between the discs. Uh, this is uh, um, this, uh, thanks to a conical or a pipe anti-twisting device and can uh, separate the organic fraction from the rest of the municipal solid waste according to the dimension. The size of this machine is highly customized and uh, normally is settled based on the project details, on the capacity, on the organic content, uh, which is inside your municipal solid waste. So as I told you before, the different kind of sorting after the primary shredder and after the disc sieve where the organic fraction is storage already, we can go through the manual sorting, the semi-automatic sorting, or the fully automatic sorting. The manual sorting is made uh, simply to, with a sorting platform where the operator is collecting uh, the different kind of materials according to a negative or a positive concept 
uh, of sorting. Uh, the cabin might be supplied with air conditioning system or heating system according to the rules of the country or according even to the environmental uh, conditions. The semi-automatic line is a, let's say, a, a, a mix between the automatic one plus some options, for instance, magnets or eddy current separators or wind sifter or whatever. And the fully automatic line is used machines for the sorting uh, like uh, optical sorters, uh, as you can see in the pictures. At the end, uh, in order to proceed, in order to try to guarantee as much as we can the uh, final RDF, we are used to settle a wind sifter, which is a machine that divides normally the EV fraction from the light fraction, where the light fraction is the good part, let's say, the part that is then addressed to the uh, cement or to the electricity or for electricity, let's say, uh, preparation where the EV part is the foreign body that we have to erase at all. At the end of the line of our municipal solid, uh, solid waste line, there could be the single shaft shredder able to size down our RDF. So the unsorted material, which is coming from the previous wind sifter, the light fraction, is grinded down for the production of RDF. It's grinded down according to customers' demands. We have customers asking for a 50 millimeter, 60 millimeter, 30 millimeter, or even smaller. And this depends on customer uh, request based on his selling channels. So uh, this machine is, uh, as a high working standard to guarantee the maximum throughput uh, as a big rotor with a big, big shredding area. The rotor is uh, uh, as a diameter of more than 800 millimeter, fully welded coated uh, to prevent the wear. He has an ergonomic design for uh, fast assess and reduction of maintenance times. Uh, the machine has a special alignment of the cutting plane plates in order to not insist on the cut, but to having a fast uh, discharge. And the output uh, dimension is, uh, as I told you before, highly customized. Here are some nice picture of the RDF that could be storage uh, in a wide area or can be even bailed for uh, uh, easy transport. Uh, some pictures of some uh, cases uh, um, existing customer I'm talking about. So this is uh, uh, one of the Italian cases. Uh, uh, this customer is making RDF by, by treating municipal and industrial waste. So he has both downstreams, let's say. He has municipal solid waste, but he has also industrial waste. This is the Far East case where recently, uh, I'm talking about more than four years ago, we placed uh, four or five uh, for between four and five lines, uh, mainly dedicated to the landfill remediation and for the further RDF production. This is uh, an installation uh, or always in the Far East uh, where from the fresh MSW, so not from the old or from the landfill waste, but from the fresh one, we are producing RDF with an output of 100 millimeter using one single machine and erasing uh, more than 50% of organic content. That's another case is uh, in the South American uh, country, Mexico, where uh, uh, here we, we place seven installation for the separation of the uh, municipal solid waste, uh, mainly in two downstream. One in uh, to erase, uh, let's say the foreign, what is not burnable from what is burnable. That's one of the European cases. Uh, you can see some details on directly on the picture where this is a huge installation. Uh, at the end, uh, there is our, uh, let's say, RDF single shot shredder.
that's an EV duty machine with more than uh, 400 uh, installed KW and able to produce around 16 ton per hour of final RPF dimension to 30 millimeter. So I give you a, a short and brief, uh, and I hope clear explanation of this kind of, uh, of installation. And as I, I repeat, we don't have a standard since uh, the municipal solid waste uh, we, we used to handle in South America is completely different from the municipal solid waste we used to find in the Far East. And uh, there couldn't uh, be one single solution, but need to be you know, properly uh, studied, uh, especially in the, in the shredding and in the preparation concept. So you can call us and visit our, uh, our website, www.forec.eu, and you can email us and present your, your case and we will come back with our solution as soon as possible. Profit is not a dirty word, uh, that's for sure. So let's make clean and better world. Let's take out this municipal solid waste and let's treat it through a Forec installation. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm completely available in case of questions. So mail us, LinkedIn, stay in contact and uh, sounds good. A step forward with you.